This is a Mac Drive. Or rather, it's the fancy looking flash drive that comes with them at the Mac Drive. The Mac Drive itself is this thing. Uh, it either comes by itself with a drive or it comes with uh, the Action Replay Max Evo. Um, it comes with two small discs. One is the PC disc, it's useless. Useless. Uh, the important disc is the PS2 disc. I only the PC disc is for the um, um, so you can put the games on the uh, Max drive, the flash drive. Although it really isn't necessary because you can do it without. Uh, I only keep the PC disc so that this thing doesn't slip out and scratch itself on the prongs here. And actually, the flash drive itself. Uh, it's not really necessary either, you don't need the specific one. You can just go ahead and use a rather generic brand. And I'm going to prove the, my point by doing exactly that. So let's put that in here. Uh, keep the camera focused on what I'm doing. Grab the disc here. Now because it's a small disc, um, it's gotta fit in the PS2 in that this little groove here, uh, which probably means also that you can't really use the Max Drive uh, without um, with your PS2 on its side. So don't really try that. All right, is it reading the disc? Yep, it's reading the disc. It's reading the disc. It's still reading the disc. Boy, this brings back memories of disc read errors. Still reading. Okay, it's loaded. And we'll just go ahead and start this disc then. Now the reason I'm uh, using this is because we're going to be playing an RPG Maker 2 game uh, today. Yes, after I don't know how long it's been since I played Untamed Madness, but we're going back to RPG Maker 2. And it's not RPG Maker 2's fault that our uh, Untamed Madness is sucky. Or 80% sucky anyway. I mean, the first few hours were still uh, pretty good. And of course, since I this is a small disc and it counts as a blue disc, it takes forever to load. Plus, of course, there's the detail of how my PS2 has that hard drive that slows everything down. All right, starting up. Finally. I said finally. Hello. <sighs> It'll get there eventually. Alright. Press X, because if you don't press X, it's going to go into this promotional video for their products, and then the thing will lock up. Which is bad. Okay. Uh, go to My Devices. Select the drive. Let's see. RG Maker 2, slot 1, SD Paradise. And you want to use Uncrushed 2. Because if you don't and you use something else, first off, it's not going to work too well. Second off, uh, Max Drive is very, very glitchy. It, if, you don't, if you do not use it the, the right way, in other words, if you don't use the Uncrushed option, I forget what option it is whenever you're putting the stuff from the memory card to the flash drive, but it has a chance of absolutely destroying your memory card, making it completely unusable. It's going to brick it. And this is definitely true because it actually happened to Pavilion Leader Volcasis. He 
he was trying to back up um, his game Legend of Pants and well it pretty much destroyed all his progress which completely sucked um, now the game I downloaded SD Paradise is actually on an export file uh, there's three different uh, transfer devices for the PS2. There's Shark Port, there's Xport, and there's Max Drive. Uh, they aren't really compatible with each other. Although I think actually Shark Port and Xport are, but not ma well, not with the uh, Max Drive. So you need to use a converter at that is available at RPG Maker Pavilion. And by this point, you're wondering, hey, what's taking so long? Is it locked up? Is it, is it, uh, putting the game on the memory card? Well, yes, it is. It just takes forever. So while we wait, um, yeah, SD Paradise. Some of you might know that SD Paradise is a Dave Carter game. And the last game I LP'd, Fufu the Asset Trip Bunny, is also a Dave Carter game. And so you're probably wondering, why am I uh, LPing two Dave Carter games in a row? Why not give somebody else a chance? Well, I'm uh, LP, gonna LP SD Paradise because he asked me to. He who? Well, some of you who watched uh, the Fufu LP might remember that a comic was mentioned, that the game was based on a comic. And out of curiosity, I decided to go ahead and try to find and see if I could find that comic. And my search led me to this YouTube page belonging to one, The Pixel Report. And upon looking over the page a little, I came to realize that this was Dave Carter. What makes me think that? Uh, well, call it a hunch. So yeah, I found Dave Carter, which was pretty cool. Uh, I showed him the LP, and he thought it was pretty interesting. Um, and while and he decided to tell me to LP SD Paradise, and so that's what I'm gonna do. But I figured, not all, if as long as I uh, found him anyway, I'd also ask him a few important questions about Foo Foo. And the most important one was, was there ever a real Foo Foo? Uh, a full-blown, not RPG Maker 1 version of Foo Foo. And, well, yes, yes there was.